Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. We're back playing Wizard and the Princess, Sierra's second adventure game and probably the world's second graphical adventure game. Uh, let me get to remember, well, let me remember how to restore a game and I'm all good at crafting. to switch my disk and then we're in slot B I think for this bit of progress and we swap our disks again and yeah here we are next to a chasm a chasm that's how it's described so I want to take another look at our note aware that snakes could appear at any moment and give us a poisonous bite so we've got this note, um, which you know I feel is is uh, going to be a significant clue to getting out of here. There's nothing else um, we've tried has got us anywhere near that chasm, um, anywhere near crossing that chasm. So let me uh, magnify that slightly on the magic scroll. There we go. So I've tried out a few different combinations to work out what was going on here. I tried mirroring the uh, shapes that we've got on our note, because it's kind of like a central line there, isn't there? And it kind of almost forms something. And I tried, yeah, tried doing it up there. And it looks a bit like something. And oh, there's the rest of our notes. Yeah, so I tried that stuff. Did I? What's that? Oh, that's all. No, I think that was as far as I got trying different combinations with, with what we've got there. Let's see if we can do anything else with this note. So I think I tried folding it before, because that seemed like it might be a. Um, can I turn the note? You look no way you look no. No. Um can you rotate the note? Do I have to rotate something? So I mean so uh, at this point I've got I had to confess that while doing a little bit of research into the game, I do know what this is pointing to and what we need to do next. I sort of stumbled across a couple of little two bits of information that I um wouldn't have known if I'd gone in completely sight unseen. So, um, but I don't really know how you get there from, from this, because it looks like shapes are almost letters. I'm not sure how you conclude that you'd get the particular word that you can from this clue. So, oh, I'll, I'll tell you what the solution is, and perhaps um, if there's anybody around who can enlighten me as to uh, how we're supposed to get there, uh, I'd, I'd be really interested to know. So what this actually is, if I draw it for us on a new layer, let me get in the right window, and... Draw this in for us. So what we're actually supposed to do is know that the this is, even though it doesn't go right up to the edge, which is kind of the thing that most bothers me about it, this is um, one word that's cropped in half. It's one of our it'll be one of our magic words. So what we need to do somehow is intuit what the top half of these letters is. Um, and I know that we need to do this. To make an H, we need to do this. And to make an O, we need to do this. To make a C, so it's that is a mirroring. But then you don't mirror the this same shape that you had for the O. This is just a U, and then this is kind of like a rotation of it. 
It's um to make the word hocus. With that, our magic spell. So, uh, let's look at the room. Hope there's no snake. Fantastic. And if we say hocus, magic should happen. There you go. We've got a magic purple bridge. It's not every day you can say that. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, let's let's go bridge. Let's see what happens. Go bridge. Oh, this looks nice. Less dangerous, maybe. So, at the north edge of the chasm, there's a bridge spanning the chasm. Well, yeah, we know that. Fab. So we've got a tree and a house. What I'm going to do is I'm going to now in a new area. I'm going to save the game. I'm going to save it in a new slot. So I need to do a little swap to get my save disk in. We're going to go for slot C this time. So please, if I forget, please remind me. That's where we are. Swap back. Return. Great. So then we can investigate our new surroundings. By the way, if you haven't uh, joined me for this game before or seen any of this game before, we are neither a wizard nor a princess. We're a person uh, who is questing to release the princess from the clutches of an evil wizard. Um, we've already solved this all before, apparently, uh, but um, the wizard didn't like that, so they sent us back in time uh, with only a few items of equipment to, to try again. So we're sort of stuck in some kind of loop, which, now I think about it, is kind of thematically appropriate with how the game's played out so far. So that's, um, I think that might be more coincidental than uh, intentional, but it's interesting. Um, I don't think I got anything for the tree there, did I? While I was busy expositing. No, there's nothing special at the tree. That's fine. Uh, what if I look at the cottage I believe it was described as. See nothing special. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go 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 oh hang on. I'll tell you what the first thing I'll do is I will update our fantastic magical map with um an entirely new map setup. That'd be good wouldn't it? And then Find wherever that is on. Is there? Is it there? I can't see it. Can you see it? I can't see it. Ah, that's that. There be. There was a reason why. Okay, fab. I'm just going to change my layer order. And then I'm almost ready to crack. Crack on. Great, so we're starting um, a new map, new area. This is our cottagey chasm area. We've got a lovely fluffy topped tree there. We've got a fabulous cottage that looks some approximately like that. Um, a delightful purple bridge. If only I were drawing this in full colour. So, there, there's an abundance of colour in this game, isn't there? Compared to Mystery House, which was our um, our previous streaming uh, Sierra Adventure game, the, the first Sierra Adventure game, um, which had, what did it have? I think it had um, a green, a kind of, a sort of magenta colour. And black, I think we're the only, the only well, and white, obviously. Uh, we're the only four, four available colours. But this, this is quite a spectrum. Okay, so we're here. I think it's time to go into the cottage. Um, see if there's any help around. Okay, the significant feature of this cottage is there is an apple here. We're in the one room cottage. It is almost empty except for a couple of tables. Yeah, one's kind of more like a sideboard, I'd say. But yeah, I get I get where you're coming from. 
Okay, well, this needs its own entry on the map too, doesn't it? So we'll pop that in. Now, if you haven't been to one of these streams before, we just we just have a chill, have a chill, uh, adventuring, map making time. Try not to get killed, um, but you know this is this is a Sierra adventure game, so it's it's not always easy or predictable. Here we go. This is what we want. Um, right, standard dodgy perspective ring. Ooh, my um, what was I going to say? Uh, my drawing pen and tablet being a little bit, being a little bit troublesome this evening. So, uh, I think. It's not really affecting the standard of my uh, of my map making abilities, but it might it might give me some pause for thought. Right, so there is an apple here. Let's look at some of the other things in the room just in case. There's a window. Nothing special. Look at the table. See nothing special. Look apple. Does it look poison perhaps? Apple looks delicious. Mm, well, that makes me suspicious, but I'm gonna get the apple. Can I remember? In, oh, sorry, inv, inv was what I was hoping to do there. Um, so I have a large rock, an empty flask, a stick. Oh yeah, we picked up a stick. That was good, wasn't it? A pocket knife, a note, a large rock, a locket, an apple. A loaf of bread and a blanket. That's pretty good, isn't it? Um, I'm gonna go door. I think that was hopefully that was all we needed to do in there. Um, so I would think that I could probably go. Uh, room, room, my compass directions quickly. South or west from here. That would be what I'd expect to happen. Uh, let's see if I can get this to work long enough to write cot cottage there. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. I I will know what I mean. Um, and you can always ask if you're not sure. Um, right. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try go tree first and see if that which direction. Okay, didn't didn't quite cotton on to what I meant there. I'm gonna try south. Oh Okay, so it's not showing me the correct directions. That's uh, interesting, not very helpful. Okay. So I probably actually want to go so if south is ahead of me then hang on can I visualize this I think I can I think east is to the left in this case no this is the coach okay <laughs> well that doesn't make a lot of sense does it okay um Unless I've got completely muddled in myself. Um, all right, well let's go west then. I can't go in that direction. Well, I must be able to go north then, surely. Oh, there's a little gnome here. Hey, gnome. You are in the woods. I certainly am in the woods. What's going up? What one with that tree in the middle there? Uh, it might just be a graphical error, but there's some kind of weird spiky white spiky thing sticking out of it. Anyway, uh, I'm loving this green. It's absolutely fabulous. Let's um, let's add something additional to our map. I, I'm grateful for the fact that, that we have a limited option of where to go at the moment because it cuts down hopefully 
uh, are floundering around because you know you uh, you can end up floundering in uh, in a game like this. I did certainly did spend my first session of it uh, trying to solve a, a maze puzzle. I didn't really seem to follow any particular rules um, and turning over rocks to look for a rock that wasn't guarded by a deadly scorpion. It was it was it was ended, I ended kind of a zen state after a while. Um, but wasn't the most scintillating uh, gaming experience I've ever had, I would say. And it definitely had its purpose. But uh but it wasn't really uh, entertainment, I wouldn't say. Right, this. Ooh. Well, I'm not. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this person justice, am I? It's a shame. Well, let me just get a a reasonable representation down there. So we know this is the name. Thank you for waiting for me, by the way, uh, known person, um, because I'm clearly just standing here sketching you, as I keep a record of all my adventures. Um, so first of all, I'm going to look at this gnome. Little gnome grabs some of your things and runs away with them. Well, that's rather rude. So, oh, the graphical error has changed in the tree? Hmm. So I've got a large rock, an empty flask, a stick, a pocket knife, and no, a large rock, an apple, a blanket. I don't think I have my locket, which is interesting. I do know the power word from it, uh, which we tried last time. Uh, the locket has the word Lucy in it, and if you type Lucy, you just lose everything from your inventory, which is... Uh, I don't think... A positive consequence. I don't think that's supposed to happen, but you know we can do it if we need to, which is is okay. So I don't know if it's good that the gnome took all our things. I don't know if we can track that gnome down. Um, I don't think there'll be anything, yeah, special about the trees here. I think that's just they just look a bit odd to me, but uh, that's all. So I'm assuming we can go in another direction from here. Should I try going north again? Shouldn't hurt, should it? Oh, there we go. So... Yeah, I think we're going to have to draw this map slightly inverted, which is, is fine. As long as I can get it to kind of make sense. So, I'm in the woods, there is a babbling brook here, which is cool. I like a babble. Hmm. Um. Let's look at this brook. There is nothing special. It would would be nice if there was a little more uh, a little more specific text about the things that we ask about um, I mean on one hand it uh, gives us a very clear indication that what we're looking at isn't significant or the way we're asking about it isn't significant but you know it'd be nice to have a little more color on these things it's an exquisite babbling brook so, I mean, am I going to call this a naughty gnome? I think I'm going to call this a naughty gnome. For, for clarity's sake, naughty gnome. Oh, that end went a bit strange. There you go, naughty gnome. Um, can you see the naughty gnome? Yeah, it's a naughty gnome. And we're at the Babylon Brook. So, um, can I go, Brook? Which direction? Can I keep going north? Apparently I can. This is one big tree. There's a very tall tree in front of you. This is reminiscent of Mystery House, isn't it? We had a, a notable big, big tree in that one. Um, 
Looks like I have a notable um, woods maze, which was kind of kind of as insoluble as the desert maze in this game has been. I mean, hopefully we've got our maze out of the way at the beginning. That would be, that'd be nice. Um, right, one big tree. So I'm guessing from here you can't really go anywhere else, hopefully. So, right, I'm going to climb this tree to see what happens. Climb this tree. Ah. You're at the top of a tree. You see an ocean in the distance. Interesting. And it looks like those are probably waves and a sailing boat. So... Hmm. I will... What I'll do is I will... Probably wait to map that until I know where else I can go from this the foot of this tree. So if I look at the ocean... I see nothing special. It's just an ocean. You've seen an ocean before. Unless, of course, you haven't. Um, what if I look at the boat? See nothing special. Look, ship. I don't know how to look a ship. Okay, so there isn't no ship, but there's no boat. Um, look, tree. Yes, I guess all I need to know is that there is an ocean and there is a ship. So I go down. I think I'd better climb down the tree first. Well, that's what I was trying to do. Do you want me to try climb down? Climb bone. Uh, climb down, please. Thank you. Can I continue going north? I can't. Could I go east? Yes, I could. Okay. In the woods, is okay. Before I do anything more with that, I'm going to go back to here and see if I can go west as well. Right, so I can't go west. So on my imaginary inverted map thing, uh, north is down, so east would be to the left. Well, it should be to the left. So I am going to... Put the uh, sea view uh, on this side for map making purposes. Climb. So let's just remind ourselves what that looked like. All good. Yeah, there's a tree. There's another tree. That's, um, I mean, that's the straightest shoreline I've ever seen, I'll be honest. Oh, cool, that was a rough, uh, a rough boat drawing. Right, I'm not sure what the, the blocky rectangle thing is in the foreground maybe that's a platform I'm standing on I don't know that will do anyway that will do Come on. I don't think there's anything I can interact with there okay let's try going it was west no it wasn't west it was east it was east I mean I was getting confused about east and west before I had to make an inverted map, but you know what? It's all good. It's all good. So this was east. So this is where we've got our crevice. So that's the important. The crevice is the important thing, isn't it? I think. And this uh, this terrain just seems to go to the edge of nowhere. It's a very pronounced hill and crevice. Excellent. I'm in the woods. There's a bank with a small crevice in it. So I'm going to have to look at this crevice, aren't I? But there's nothing nasty inside. See nothing special. Can I go to the crevice? You couldn't fit through a small crevice. 
Okay. Well, let's see what else is in this area. So, can I continue going east from here? Oh, heck, I can. Okay. I'm in the woods. This looks like a tree, tree wooded area. A tremendous area. Can we keep going east? I can't. Okay. So, we might be in another fairly small, fairly limited area. Um, much like last time. But I will too, what I'll do is I will try and go south from here. Oh! A parrot? In other words, there's a parrot sitting in a tree. Well, let's hope the parrot doesn't steal anything from me. I must say, I'm finding this, uh, the woodland, uh, a lot more hospitable than the desert. So this was south, and then this has a very low horizon, presumably so we can get our lovely parrot in here. Gaining parity. Um, Right. Uh, ooh, I've left myself very little room to fit a parrot in, but I think I think I've kind of done it. Oh, let's just let's see what happens. Look, parrot. Parrot is very beautiful. Can I talk to the parrot? Parrots can sometimes talk, can't they? This parrot doesn't talk much. Um, I don't really want to try and get the parrot, do I? Uh, let's see what happens. When you try to catch the parrot, he flies out of the way of your hands and lands back on the branch again. Oh, it resets. Nice. Um. I don't know why I want a parrot. I mean, other than, you know, parrots are cool. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's it to be maybe a wild parrot. I'll leave it be. Until puzzles demand otherwise. Let's go south. Oh, another another different screen. So this is definitely not like a looping maze or anything, which is uh, something to be grateful for. Okay, a stand of three trees. This is probably just another interstitial screen. I don't think there's going to be anything to interact with here. Go. Um, just try to look true. Nothing special, really. So I think if my let's have a look. If my metrics are correct, we can maybe go s south one more time before we reach the end or something. I can't go. Okay. Well, yeah. So it's quite important that I mark that off so I can remember where I. I've tried to go and have failed to go. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll tell you what, I will backtrack and see if there's any way to go. Oh, I didn't try that. Hang on. Let's be more. Let's be more methodical about this. Go south and also try to go east. And I can't go in that direction. Great. So that should put me at. The limit of so this is an edge a, co a corner of this particular area there there we go um, back to north back to the parrot try and go east again and hopefully I won't be able to I can't no that's what I expected um, and then this place with three trees can I go east from here I can't okay that is what I expected as well. Uh, make a few more marks on the map. Map, 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 map. Um, hopefully I can't go north any further. No. 
Great, so we've we've delimited an edge there, which is really important. Um, so then if I go west, we're back to the crevice. Yeah, great. Um, just hope we shouldn't be able to go north. Can't go north, fantastic. Um, and I know I can't go north in that one, don't I? So that's great. So I think I just need to fill in the middle row of this, this area. Um, by heading south from here. Ooh, a hole in a tree. Hmm. Okay. We'll risk it in a second. I'll just draw it first. I'm worried about that name. So. So I reckon if I type look tree this time I should hopefully get a message about there being a hole. Um, if not I'm just going straight for the straight for the hole. Look tree. There is yeah well I see a hole that's quite special. Look hole. Hole is large enough for you to fit through. Ooh. I don't think I'm gonna go hole just yet. Um but does give me, uh, just remind me that I ought to make some additional notes. So hold there, and just in case I need it, parrot here because it looks like you probably need to interact with the parrot in some way. Um, but I don't know really sure how yet. So in theory, from here I could go east to the parrot. Ooh, no, it takes you to the three trees. That's one of these ones where it isn't a one for one grid, which is makes it a lot more confusing, but that's okay. So I'll go west and that should get me back to the whole trees. Um, and I should be able to go south one more time at least. I can't go south. Okay. And what happens if I go west? Oh, somewhere I haven't been before. Well, this is doing all sorts of nonsense for my um, for my cartography, I must say. Um, okay. Yeah, so I kind of wonder where I can go from here. Uh, I guess I'll find out. So you can go west from there. It's a bit odd that that area doesn't connect up with the other parts of the map, I find. Okay, so this is... This, this isn't one I've been to before, is it? No, it's not, it's not the same as any of the others. Oh, yes it is. It's the gnome one without the gnome in. And if I go south from, excuse me, south from here... Ah, uh, yeah, 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 so it was where the name is. That's okay, that. Let me save that square and just adjust this notation. Yeah, we're on it. Okay. Okay, so that's. If I scroll back over this and zoom out a little for us. So we can see it, there you go. So that's kind of the overall shape of this area by the looks of it. We've got a hole, a crevice, a parrot, and a gnome who has disappeared. Um, so, going north again. Could I go, so I know it's east, can I go west from here? Whoa, hello, that's a lion. You're at the uh, edge of the woods, you see the ocean. Uh, I think, <laughs> okay, I think you might be emitting something there. Uh, there's a, there's, there's a whole, there's a whole lion. I mean, it, it looks like it might be a very friendly lion. It looks like the kind of lion 
You might want to ask me if I've heard about the good news. Right, well this, I did, I, I wasn't expecting this, I'll be honest. We could, we might perish here. We might perish. Um, so this were, this was west, wasn't it? This, so we're closer to the boat that we saw from the tree. Which is nice. It just looked like it'd be easy to get to the boat. I'm guessing we're going to have to make an ocean crossing at some point to get to... Um, where the wizard and the princess are. I do, yeah, so this area where there's quite a lot going on and you're kind of free to explore, I do kind of wish the game had started with more of an area like this than the desert maze because that was pr pretty off putting, to be honest. I mean, this, this lion is absolutely adorable. Um, alright, can I look at the bow? I'll ignore the lion. No, can I look at the ocean? I bet it's not special, is it? No. What about the lion? The lion won't let you pass. Can I talk to the lion? I wouldn't try if I were you. Oh, okay. Well, can I continue to go west? Can I go north? Lama, let me pass. So here, north is towards the ocean. Blimey. Can I go south? No. Um, okay, so I just need to find a way to get past the line. Well, that's fine. I mean, it hasn't got a thorn in its paw or anything, has it? Okay, so basically that's a dead end part of the map. That's that's the way to the ocean, so I think the ocean will be progress. Um, and to get to progress, gotta do something. I just want to check from... So where can I go from here? So I know I could go north from where the brook is. Can I go east? I can't go east. Can I go west? can't go west no so that's that's only uh, one way through isn't it north south so yeah I think we really have found everywhere in this this particular region yeah interesting Okay. Well, I think we're going to have to try and do something with the parrot or the hole or the crevice, aren't we? I fear. I'm going to have to interact with one of them. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, I'll tell you what, I will make sure I save my scroll as well. Um, in case of any accident. Right, I need to take a quick break and I'll be right back. I will, I'll leave everything as it is and I will just put Broob in the chat for anybody who passes by and might be curious. See you in a moment, folks. Hello, I'm back. Um, so, I'm thinking the likeliest place for the gnome to have gone is the hole in the tree. So let me just work out where we go from here. We're going to have to go, I think, we go south and east. We get to tree hole. And, well, let's risk it. Go, excuse me, go hole. Oh, this does look quite fair folk, doesn't it? You're inside a tree. There's stairs leading downwards. There's a hole leading outside. Well, you know what? I could, so I could put this part of, on my map above where the 
Uh, oh, there's, there's a convenient space left there, isn't there? Well, maybe they were more considerate about my ability to draw this area when planning it. Which I somewhat appreciate. Okay. Uh, let's map this thing. Great, there we go. You know what, actually, I'll do a red arrow from the hole to there. And put a hole on the side there. And then up here we've got. You know, it's just. I don't. I'm not hoping for great accuracy in this because I'm. Uh, freestyling on a small scale. And it just needs to be vaguely representative, but it's it's kind of disheartening when my uh, my attempt at representing the screen is is a worse graphic than than the art itself. It's a bit a bit disappointing. I'm going to go down the stairs. Right, down, down. There you go. Ledium. There's a whole ledium. At the bottom of the stairs, there's a little door here, a little purple door for a little purple gnome. Mayhaps. I wonder if I can knock door. I, I'd like to try. I mean, I'm not the. I'm. I. I consider myself a polite adventurer. Um, down. There you go, that was where we went. We went down, and here. It's a bit, yeah, the perspective's a bit off, isn't it? If we're supposed to be looking down some stairs, so the stairs should, should come from wider. So, like, it should be something like that, shouldn't it? Yeah, there you go, I've improved your perspective. Um, right, I'm going to knock the door. That's not quite how you spell knock. I don't know how to knock something. Look door! Open door? You normally have to open doors in these games. The door is locked from the other side. Um, can I talk door? No way. Can I just knock? No, no, because you don't understand what knocking is. Um, can I, I can't go door, I think I'll put it on this, I can't go through a closed door, yeah. Door is locked from the other side, you're at the bottom of the stairs, so the door here. Alright, so I don't think there's anything else I can do there at the moment, I'm going to go back up, and back out through the hole. Okay, so we know there's something of some kind there, how this relates to a lion, and getting on a boat, I don't know. But uh, let me consult the map again. Um, so we're back here. Let's try the crevice because I did accidentally stumble onto what you do with the crevice um, while I was looking into the game. So I know that. Uh, we can use our snake spell, our hiss, here, um, to turn to a snake, and a snake can probably fit through, oh, excuse me, fit through that crevice. Ooh, what's this? A slit and ray of light? Ooh, you are in an underground tunnel. There is a small crevice going to the outside here. Sunlight is coming in through the crevice. Yeah, well, I think that was. So I could put a. I could put this. I could map this below, couldn't I? I I fear we might be in trouble if our snake spell runs out before we're ready. Um, that would be potentially bone crushing. Um, wouldn't 
it wouldn't be in our interests, I don't think. So this is, let me put out in the red, this is sort of going to another area, isn't it? So, uh, this should tell me how we can get there, if I forget. And then, so we want to go down the tunnel and not through the crevice, don't we? There's just wording it that, how to word it. Um, um, go tunnel might work. It's quite abstract, isn't it? This uh, this particular screen. Um, go tunnel. Which direction? South. You change back into yourself again. Is this okay? You're in an underground tunnel. There is just enough sunlight coming through the crevice to see. Okay. Is this a one of the things going to get darker? Because I don't know if I have a means of lighting anything currently. Don't have. Alright, well let's see what happens if we continue, try continuing going south. In under the tunnel there's just no sunlight coming into the crevice to see. So it's... that's a slightly different graphic I think, is it? Hmm. Well, we'll just continue going in the same direction because presumably you can only go um, either, or back, either backwards or forwards down this tunnel. So. Let's stick to it. Do get a bit nervous with the uh, limited feedback on our actions. In case something dire is going to happen. It's a uh, hold over for a mystery house, I think. Right, uh, let's try going south again. Oh, hello! It's the purple door! <gasps> the underground tunnel, there's just no sunlight coming in through the crevice to see. There is a little door here. That's the other side of the little door. I think I can see the locket. And um, my loaf of bread. Ah. Okay, so I think I'd have to hiss turn back into the snake to get out of here? I think I would. Okay, so this is an interesting detour. So I guess items might be the way to get past the lion and to attract the parrot? because we don't seem to be picking up anything additional in this zone, do we? So I guess if there might be a way to avoid the gnome taking any of your stuff, and I guess in that case... Oh, I don't know how to get a load. Get loaf. Um, yeah, so I guess the stuff might not appear here. If apologies for the beeps, uh, I don't know why Level 2 likes to do that. It seems to be when there's lots of text to produce. It wants to beep. Um, lock door. Okay, uh, uh, unlock the door. Okay, the door is unlocked. Nice. Open door. Ah, oh, great, so I don't have to go back through the crevice. I can just um, go up the steps and come out the tree. Nice. Right, we got this sorted. 
this is how you adventure game. Fab, so we solved the mystery of a detour for some of our stuff getting stolen, but still not really sure what I'm supposed to do with the loaf of bread or or indeed the locket. Hmm. Okay. So I guess our options are to I guess we can check back in on the gnome screen in case there's anything there. But I think all we need to do really is try and distract the lion. Or... Oh, hello, that went very small very quickly. Um, distract the lion or attract the parrot. So, the parrot seems the least essential, so let's go do that first. That seems like adventure game logic to me. We should get us to the parrot. So I think, um, I don't think I've done anything irreparable, irreparably harmful to the game, so I'm going to save it again here in that same slot that we were using. Um, do the old getting save game swap, slot C, swap back, return. So let's um, give the apple to the parrot. The parrot says yuck. Ah. Do I still have the apple? Large rock, empty flask, a stick, a pocket knife, a note, large rock, a lucky, an apple, a loaf of bread. I mean, you really shouldn't give bread to parrots, but parrot says yuck. What do parrots like? Um, large rock, empty flask, a stick, a pocket knife. I mean, oh, I know what I could do. I could get some water from the babbling brook because I don't think there's any reason for it to be there otherwise. Um, a note, a large rock, a locket. So I've only got two food items. Would it like a blanket? Perhaps it says yuck. Oh, I'll say that about anything. So what if I use blanket to catch the parrot? Ah. Okay. Um, I So how do I get to that? I think I have to go north. And west, and that's loaded in. And west again. To the big tree. And then south from there to get to the brook. Can I get water? Flask is now full of water. Great. So the, while we're here, we might as well check the gnome square. Yeah, no, I think we've defeated defeated the gnome's mischievous plans there. Um, so I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do with fresh water. I mean, we might be in a situation where we need it later on. Let's see. Um, west. Hello, lion. Um, so, give apple. The lion is interested. Give loaf. Lions love a loaf of bread. Oh, well, they do. Okay. <laughs> right, so I can get to the ocean. Which is nice. I um, can't remember what direction that's in. But let's see if we can do anything with the parrot first. So, how. I need to go to the. Oh, hang on, that was not the right way, was it? I need to go. North 
And then east to the tree with a hole in it, and then can't get directly to the parrot from here, but I can go east and then north, I think. Yeah, all good. Yes, parrot. Oh, hello, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so that's where we are. We'll give water. We don't have it. Oh, I do have. Give flask. Flask. Right, it says yuck. Large rock, flask of water, a stick, a pocket knife. Well, no, a large rock, a locket, an apple, a blanket. Use stick. Okay. Use rock. All right. Let's just try everything, shall we? So I've used rock, water, stick, used knife. Use pocket knife. Does it know what pocket knife is? It's a pocket knife, so it should be knife, won't it? I don't. I don't want a knife for parrot. That says yuck. What else? Oh, what else is there? Um. So the. Yeah, so the gnome saving the bread, I guess, is a bit of a clue that that was an important item. Um, let's get past the. So, are we supposed to do anything with this parrot? Or is it just a. Is it a red herring parrot? So, I've used all those things. I've got a note, another rock, a locket. I mean, I could try giving the note or the locket. I don't know what, would it, what it would avail. Give. Note. Yuck. Um, give. Uh, oh, gone blank. Mine's gone blank. What was the other thing? Give the. Oh no, I've forgotten. I'm going to have to look out. Lockets. That's what it was. Maybe, maybe this is Lucy. No. Um, catch parrot. Try to catch the parrot. He flies out the way of your hands and lands on the branch again. What if I look at the branch? Can I do anything to the branch? Look at the branch. Okay, it doesn't really get branch. Um, what about tree? Um, I don't know what to do then. Should we just see what happens if we go to the edge of the ocean? Yeah, sure, why not? We've made enormous progress, so let's give it a whirl. So, hang on, I'm going to be able to navigate there and I, I think I'm going to have to go uh, south. Which is lovely. West. And then further west and then further west still and then let's just just pick a direction i think it's either north or south isn't it north. oh oh hello that oh so there's a coil of rope and a boat with oars excellent a rowboat as you described yes you're at the edge of the ocean on a beach, there is a rowboat here. Interesting. So, um, let me. Pop this over here. Um, I'll put in a red arrow to this one, and I will. Mm, nope, that was the wrong colour. I'll annotate it with bread, so that's got a puzzle solution baked in there for reference if we need it. And this charming coastal scene um, with some, some chirpy birds in the air. 
the very back with two walls. Uh, coil of rope. Delicious coil of rope there. Well, we're definitely going to get the rope, aren't we? A bit worried about that black hole that appears in the boat and then disappears. Hmm. Can I go east from here? Can I go west from here? Can I go north from here? Can I go south from here? Yeah, it's back there. Cool, so that's... You can't go anywhere other than probably in the boat. Um, which, I mean, other than the loading portent of the, uh, the hole that causes me some uh, trepidation, uh, we could... Oh, hang on. It's bread. Bread and north? Yeah. North. Um, right, let's just try it. But let's ignore my misgivings. Let's go boat. There's a hole in the boat. Oh, I knew it. Uh, use apple, obviously. You plug the hole with the apple. Let's hope it works. Well, that's strange, isn't it? Um, in the rowboat on the beach. I mean, if that's the actual solution, that's very good. Um, and clearly, clearly, uh, the wizard and princess and I have aligned at this point. Um, all right, so can we can I row boat? Which direction? Um, go ocean? Which direction? Can I go south? Sorry, can I go north? What has leaked into the boat? You are dead. Oh, game! You very cheeky game. <laughs> I'm pleased that it let me try the apple. Um, and I'm disappointed that that wasn't the actual solution because I mean it would have just been delightful if it was um, so we go back to sea so are we pre pre lion feeding We're post line feeding. No, we're pre. Okay, that's fine. I've got a blanket. Hmm. Um. All right. So let's go. Let's give this another go. Let's go get the rope. As the rope is the only thing we haven't used in conjunction with the parrot. We'll try that. Although, sounds a bit violent for my taste. Uh, let's get around the back of everything. Yeah, solved you, Kremis puzzle. Um, Ooh, have I got the water yet? Great, okay. Um, and then we'll go... And then go west from here to get to the... Oh, hi, Lion. So I'm going to uh, give you the bread. Glad you like bread. 
go north. Get the rope. And then go south. And then go east. And east again. And east again. And then north. She gets back to parrot territory. And then let's just let's try the rope out. Hmm. Um, I don't know what I could use to help charm that parrot. Maybe I could hocus it. No way. Okay. No way. Um, all right. Well, let's go back to the boat then. So we'll go. I'm gonna go. Um, no, south. South is where we wanna go. South. And then head west. 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 North. So I will save it, but I'm going to save this as a different slot, a slot D, I think, uh, before we try our crazy uh, boat fixing ideas with no tar and no wood. Okay. So let's go boat. There is a hole in the boat. Can I just look at the hole first? It's nothing special. So can I use the blanket here? You stuff the blanket in the hole, let's hope it works. Can I use I must use multiple items? Can I use the apple? No more room in the bottom of the boat. Okay. Was was it south that we go to see? Was it east we go to see? Was it west we go to see? No, it's north. Can I go? Can I go shore? Um, can I get down from the boat? I don't know if you can leave the boat once you're in it. Go up from the boat. Oh, maybe I can go beach. Actually, beach would be. I'd call it a shore, but you'd call it a beach. Yeah, you can. No worries. Okay, um, so go boat. It's got, have you got the blanket in there? Yeah, can I get the blanket? So I can only use one item at a time. Cool. What else might do the job? I mean, I can't imagine a blanket stuffed in a hole would do a great job. Um, a rock. A flask of water. Um, and a locket. Well, let's see. So, can we use the flask? No way. Can I use the rock? No way. Can I use the locket? I can't imagine it's big enough. Okay, well, let's use the blanket then. And then go north. Farewell. Well, should we keep going north? You're hot and thirsty, I think you'd better drink some water. Ah, there is something up there, okay. Um, drink water. Luckily I've got some water. Last thing I'm doing the ocean. So I had to ask the water mechanics here. North. Okay, we're getting closer to this island. I think it's an island. Oh, it's disappeared. Okay. Um, east. Oh. East. East. Oh. East. 
It's a maze. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Oh no. Oh dear. I'm glad our blankets lasted so well. Um, north, 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 east. Maybe it was west. We need to get west, 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 west. It's weird. Land of weird compass inversions. Uh, we're not. We're not really getting anywhere, are we? Am I becalmed? What's going on? Row. No way. Can I look the compass? I think we might have missed something here, folks. Maybe we needed uh the Oh. Ah, so if you go south. Ah, okay. So that square is interesting. What if I choose to go east here? Aha! And then east again? East again? Aha! Over on the beach of an island. All right. Oh, fab. Whoa, there's an X and everything. Well, so what I will do, I think, is I think this is a great place to leave the game for today. I'm kind of thinking we might have needed to get that parrot on for the ride, but I hope not. Uh, I'm going to save the game. And D, slot D. And I'm gonna start a new start a new map for this, ready for next time. So let's our adventures. Our exciting adventures on that land of gnomes and lions. Solving puzzles with blankets and apples. Um, okay, so that's the... There we go. Alrighty, um, quite nicely drawn too. So, I mean, there's clearly a... Uh, clearly a... Uh, let me look at the... Let me look at the cross. Okay. Look. X. Nothing special. Dig. Nothing to dig with. Interesting. Look. Trees. It's nothing special. Okay. Well, I'll leave the, the mystery in for another time, I think, and I'll just draw in this segment of this new map. Struggling to, uh, to fit all these trees in. So we've got our boat. There we go, and uh, cross there. Fab! Okay. 
Uh, yeah. All good. Yeah, we're very close, very close to the um, end of stream time, so I think I will leave it there for today. Thanks very much for joining me um, for another, as probably our most productive ever session in a, in one of these adventure games. Uh, I think. Yeah, I don't think we achieved this much in one go at Mystery House, so very, very satisfying from that point of view. Um, thank you for joining me. Um, I'm going to keep streaming. I think probably Wednesday is going to be the good day. Um, I scheduled Wednesdays again. Um, follow along to get notified of when I'm going live if you'd like to watch. And you're very welcome to join in the chat and throw any ideas my way because um, I'd certainly benefit from them. Um, and uh, don't forget to check out my YouTube channel where the videos uh, on demand from these streams will be uploaded. I'm a little behind at the moment but I'll, I'll be catching up. Um, and I've got two regular Let's Play series, one for um, bad 90s adventure game The Feeble Files, bad in broad and specific ways, um, and good uh, early 2000s RPG Divine Divinity. Um, so check out check out the YouTube channel linked from my Twitch page um, if you'd like to see those. Um, but for today, thank you for joining me. Um, hope you had a good time. Take care, and I'll see you again later. Bye bye.